This screencast is going to discuss the number E. Now, the number E was discovered by Jacob Bernoulli, who was trying to val find the value of this expression. And this is the expression Jacob was trying to find the value of. And you read this as the limit as n approaches infinity of the quantity 1 plus 1 over n to the nth power. And we named this value E in honor of Leonard Euler, a Swiss mathematician who was just brilliant. Now, what is the value of this number E? So what we're going to do is we're going to create a table, and we're going to put some values for n in and see what we get when we evaluate this expression. So first we'll put in the number 1. If we put 1 in, we're evaluating the expression 1 plus 1 over 1 to the 1 power. And if you calculate that out, that comes out to be the number 2. And what we're going to do is we're going to let n get bigger and bigger. So if n is equal to 10, you can see we come out now with a decimal, about 2.59374246. We'll let n get a little bit bigger. We'll put n at 100 and evaluate the expression 1 plus 1 over 100 to the 100th power. And now you can see our decimal is getting bigger, but it's still 2.70481382. Bigger, but not a whole lot bigger. We'll let n equal 1,000, and you can see the decimal approximation when we put 1,000 in. When we let n equal 100,000. When we let n equal a million. When we let n equal a 100,000 million, billion. And you can see what's happening is our values of n are getting bigger. Our values of e get bigger, too. But what's happening is they're getting bigger, but there's a limit to how big they can get. And E seems to be settling around this value, 2.71828.1827. And E can go on and on, and the decimals continue on forever, because the number E is a non-terminating, non-repeating decimal, which means that E is what we call an irrational number non-repeating, non-terminating decimal. And we approximate it at 2.718. Now, where is E used? E is used when we're modeling continuous growth. When you have something that is growing continuously, growing so frequently that you can't describe the time intervals for how fast it's growing, this is when we use the number E. So we'll use it when we do continuous compounding. You put money in the bank, and instead of calculating the interest quarterly or monthly or daily or every hour or every minute or even every second, we're calculating it so frequently we can't talk about the time intervals. That is what we call continuous compounding. A real life, another real-life situation where you see continuous uh, growth is with population. The idea that births and deaths are occurring continuously. Someone is always being born. Someone is always dying. When you have population growth that's growing continuously, we will use an exponential function with the growth factor of E as a way to model these large populations. <laughs> 